Whenever I see a piece that uh, my ancestors made uh, hundreds of years ago, or even more recently, you know, I, I just feel this direct connection. It draws a connection to the, your past and to the future because what you're doing now will be uh, history. So I think it just it draws you back home. It draws you back to a special place. And sometimes the more abstract it is, the more meaning you can get out of it. It's vital to, I think, not just uh, Native American societies or Chickasaw societies, but to all uh, society as a whole, that it, it, art is uh, what unites us all. With one eye fixed on a rich and colorful past and another scanning the endless possibilities of the future, Chickasaw artist Dustin Mader has found a comfortable balance in the present, allowing him to create works that resonate on many levels. His art has not gone unnoticed. Already appreciated within wide circles, his audience has suddenly experienced a quantum leap thanks to a new project with the prestigious Pendleton Company, makers of well-known collectible blankets dating back to the 19th century. For this particular piece, Dustin made the first move. Fortune favors the bold, or, you know, it's just uh, good luck goes to those that uh, continue pursuing. You know, I saw Pendleton's wonderful collection of blankets they've done in the past, and so I just made a cold call and just asked how I could get my work on one of their fantastic blankets. Drawing from his immediate heritage as a Chickasaw Indian, and by extension, the vibrant and storied Mississippian culture as a whole, Dustin created an original design teeming with symbolic elements representing the original Southeastern Native American tribes. In recent years, his distant heritage has become more of a strong inspirational force in his artwork. It has become my muse. It has really given me focus, and I still have an eclectic blend of ideas, uh, for my art, you know, going within uh, etched glass to shell gorgets to paintings to illustrations to sculpting. Uh, my interests are pretty across the, the board and pretty broad, um, but this is like my muse now and, you know, digging more into my culture is giving me this like ah moment and uh, it's like almost religious in, in my uh, revering of it and I just want to learn more and more. Many people are aware of other tribes, very familiar with the Plains and the Northwestern tribes and even the Southwestern tribes, but no, not many people are very familiar with the Mississippian culture and it is such a rich and diverse tapestry that the world needs to know. Dustin's interest in his deep ancestral past is counterweighted by his affinity for utilizing the latest technological tools to help create his work, placing him at the vanguard of Native American art. This imaginative meeting of old and new has not been lost on him. It's an opportunity for him to put a fresh face on ancient themes. My work is, you know, I'm not trying to replicate or make uh, imitations of the past. What I'm really trying to do is bridge the classic designs with the 21st century and beyond. And it's just to bridge the gap. And, uh, you know, I believe that our ancestors would have, um, if they would have had the opportunities, they would have been on it just as quickly as I am. The media I work with, I, I use Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, I use uh, InDesign, I use Corel Paint, but it all comes back to just original pen and paper, and that's where it all starts from. Even though I do all these digital designs like the, the piece for spring, it was all hand-drawn first, and now it was all broken up into lots of different pieces, but it was all hand-drawn, and then it was digitally altered and colored and um, tweaked that way. I feel it's a privilege and, and it is uh, a duty to bridge that gap into, you know, it's a living art and it should continue to evolve and go into the digital realm. And I imagine in the next few years there'll be artists that'll even take it further than I can even imagine. Following his preferred creative methodology, Dustin sketched out the design that would eventually land on a Pendleton blanket and then fine-tuned it in the digital realm. He then released the design as a print as a piece of art that would later evolve into the blanket design. The design which Pendleton selected is packed full of meaning. Well, it's a real amalgamation of different pieces. Um, there's two designs that came from Pashofa paddles. The silhouette is from uh, the copper plate that the warriors would wear in the back of their hair. And um, the, the splattered pattern is actually from a watercolor painting I did. 
The woodpecker motif that you see in there was a symbol that the warriors would wear over their eyes and mouth and on their bodies as a sign of protection and of good luck and you know, calling upon uh, their upper intermediaries for you know, guidance and help and what they did. And the hand with the eye represents the hand of the creator and all things stem from him. Once Pendleton became involved with Dustin, the project truly turned collaborative, the end result being another uniquely appealing addition to the company's long-running line of world-famous wool blankets. It was actually a multitude of people. It wasn't just one person at Pendleton. It was actually about six people that I, I worked with. And, um, you know, they were going through all the designs, and then once they selected spring, they started sending, like, color samples and uh, material samples, and just to see a general feel of what I thought. Some were too light, some were too dark, and, uh, you know, I found a happy medium. Now, they didn't, weren't able to capture every single aspect of the original piece, which has blue in it, um, representing the rivers and uh, the soul, but they were, we were able to work in a nice compromise and uh, a nice green that kind of uh, fused everything together. And it was just a lot of back and forth um, between them with the, the color and uh, just a little placement layout. And then after that, it was uh, pretty much done. So the process started about like um, April or May of last year. And by um, really by August, everything was all sorted out. After traveling around the country searching for an artistic voice, it wasn't until his return home to Ada that he found a way to combine his ideas, beliefs, and experiences into a clear vision for his work. Pendleton taking note only confirms that he is in the right place. It's a validation for what the path that I've chosen. And, uh, you know, I've had a lot of discouraging things come at you, but, you know, everyone gets that discouraging thing. What makes the difference is, is that do you continue to pursue uh, that dream or that goal and you know when you find your bliss um, I find at least that uh, you can't let anything or anybody shake you from it and I've known I've wanted to be an artist since I was a little guy since I was at least like four I don't know what kind of artist and it's only been within the last few years that it's really galvanized into what it is today with his work now adorning a beautiful Pendleton blanket available worldwide the sky is the limit for Dustin's art with his muse close at hand and his skills sharpened with each new day, no medium is off limits. For Dustin, the key is remaining open to the process and the possibilities it creates. I get inspiration everywhere and I just, my mind is like, it's like bubbles. It's just always filling up my head. And uh, I keep a sketchbook next, next to my bed where I've done some of my best ideas like after I wake up in the middle of the night and I have to sketch them out or write them down. Or um, I keep them in an office, I keep one in the car just because you never know where inspiration is going to strike. And, uh, you know, sometimes it's just like the object that tells me what it wants to be as a creation. I, you know, a lot of the time I just I have a plan of what I'd like to do. I have like the supplies needed to do it, but the final result never is exactly what I plan. And I, that's the best way. It's the journey. It's not so much the final piece. The final piece is just the result of uh, where I was ta being taken that day. And, uh, you know, I feel like when I make this artwork, uh, something is speaking through me.